This is going to be a video in which we take some coffee that we've made and we test the coffee for the index of refraction. And we use the index of refraction to find the percent total dissolved solids of coffee. I've got my refractometer here. I've got a pipette and I've got my coffee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my coffee, drip two or three drops on the top of the prism. Just let it fold down nicely. Takes a couple of seconds for it to get to the bottom. Yes, I do have an air bubble down at the bottom. Looks like I have one at the top too in that picture, but I don't. And then I'm going to look at this and I'm going to estimate it. Um, and the line is very sharp now, so that's good. So I can estimate it even better. I'm going to estimate this at 1.3 four, five, zero, uh, five, zero, 1.3450. And let me write that down. And here's what we're gonna do with that. First off, I'm gonna clean off my uh, solution. Oh, without getting it on my shirt. So now I'm going to share my screen. This is the data, and I've just got that my refractive index, which we call N sub D, is 1.3450. Okay. And I have an equation right here that says y equals 0.00188x plus 1.33252. So my equation goes like this y equals. 0.00188x plus 1.33252. So that's my equation. And my y-axis, my y-value, is my refractive index, 1.3450. And if I now have to solve this equation for x, I find I will get my uh, value for X, which is the percent uh, total dissolved solids in coffee. So if I take my 1.345 and I sub take that number and subtract 1.33252, right? I'm going to get 0 0.01248 uh, is equal to 0 0.00188 times x. And it's going to think that's an equation. And I want to think it's just a text right now. So I've now removed the 1.33252 from both sides. And now I just have to divide through by 0 0.00188. So I'm going to say equals this number divided by. Oops, divided by 0 0.00188. Hmm, that number seems high. Oh, oh, because I typed in my answer wrong. My answer was, hold on, I gotta do my coffee again. I think I wrote it down. I know what happened, but I'm gonna do it again anyway. One, two, three. I'm watching the drops go down to the bottom. And again, there still is an air bubble. Yeah, 1.33345. 1 1.33345. Let me write that down. Is that possible? 3333344. Three, three, four, five. There we go. Let's just plug this in. So one point three, three, four, five. One point three, three, four, five. One point oh five percent 
That is my percent total dissolved solids coffee. And to do this, all you got to do is you got to take whatever you get for your refractive index, n sub d, plug it in for the y value into your equation and solve for x. Because x, since it's on your x-axis, is the percent total dissolved solids coffee. And this equation, this y equals 0 0.00188, or your version of it, which will be different, is going to uh, be the equation you use to find your percent total dissolved co solids coffee in future experiments. Oops, cancel. Come back to there.